Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay, everybody. Welcome to the, uh, the class number eight. Okay, we are in the second week of classes. Thank you for attending tonight's class. And for tonight, we are going to start with a new topic, everybody. The topic is the prepositions. The prepositions, okay? So let me give you some uh, examples about the prepositions of place, everybody. Okay, everybody, check this out. This is an important topic that we have for tonight. Sir, please. We have the prepositions. Okay, everybody, what is a preposition? This is a word that we use when we want to describe the location, the location of a person, the location of a place, the location of uh, something, etc. Okay, so this is the preposition. For example, okay, we have the first one, which is under. Under, what is the meaning of under? Under is debajo de, under. Okay, number two, pay attention, observe. Number two is between, between everybody. En medio de, en medio de. Okay, and the number three, observe please, and number three we have close to, okay, close to. So in this case is cerca, cerca de, close to. Okay, and the number four, pay attention, this is in or inside, everybody. Dentro, dentro de. Okay, and then we have above, Above, what's the meaning of above? Por encima de. Okay, mire, por ejemplo, el pajarito ahí va sobrevolando. No está tocando el objeto. En este caso, solamente es above. Okay, encima de, o por encima de. Okay, and then we have behind. What is the meaning of behind? Behind is detrás. Atrás. Detrás de. Excellent. Then we have on. On. This is a sobre. Ahí sí, mire, no se debe confundir con about y eh, on. Above es por encima de, and on es sobre. Sobre. Okay. And finally, we have in front of. What is the meaning of in front of? Okay. In front of. En frente de. Excellent. So, this is the different words we use to identify the location of places. Okay, places, persons, animals, things, etc. Lo utilizamos para dar a conocer la ubicación. La ubicación de, de lugares, de personas, de animales, cosas, etc. Okay. Now, uh, let's try to. Let's, let's describe the locations of these animals. Vamos a describir la ubicación de estos animalitos que tenemos aquí. Okay. For example, what are the animals that we have here? Everybody? We have two different animals. What are these animals? ¿Cuáles animales son? Cat. A cat. In a? Cat. In a bird. 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 Okay. It's not beer. No, beer, eso es cerveza. No, it's bird. Bird. Mm. Bird. Así como que está fingiendo, como que está fingiendo la voz. Bird. 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 Okay? Bird. Very good. Bird. So, pay attention to the number one, please. In the number one, we have a, a cat. In the number one, we have a cat. Tenemos un gato. 
And then we have the object here. The object is the box. El objeto es la cat. Okay? So I want to describe the location of the cat. ¿Cuál es la ubicación del gatito? Entonces voy a decir, the cat is under the box. El gato está debajo. Dentro. No, debajo, under. Under. Debajo. Under. Yes. Under the box. The cat is under the box. So that's the idea, everybody. El gato está debajo de la cat. Now pay attention to the number two. In the number two, we have the bird. So in this case, the bird is between okay, the boxes. In this case, it's plural. Okay, the bird is boxes. between, está como en medio, okay, between the, the boxes, between the boxes. In the number three, we have the cat, right? The cat is close to the box. What does it mean of close to everybody in this context? Significa? Cerca de. El gato está cerca de. The cat is close to the box. Now pay attention to the number four. Number four is inside. Inside. The cat is inside the box. El gato the box. está dentro de la cat. Okay? La the cat is inside the box. Or you can say only in. The cat is in the box. This is the other possibility that we have. The cat is in the box. Okay, now pay attention to number five. The bird, the bird is above the box. The bird is above the box. Está por encima de, de la cama. Above the box. Now pay attention to number six. Number six is behind. Because the, the cat is behind the box. Okay, detrás de la cama. And pay attention to the number, uh, number seven, on, on. The bird is on the box. Está sobre la cama. El pájaro está sobre la cama. And finally, uh, the number eight, the cat is in front of the box. Y estamos dando a conocer la ubicación. La ubicación de, en este caso tenemos, más adelante ya vamos a ver los lugares. Okay. Now it's your turn, everybody. Yo le digo el número y usted me hace la descripción. Okay? I say the number and you give me the description. Okay? For example, Jose Sol. Jose, number, number eight, the last one. Make the description, please. It's, um, the cat is in front of the box. Excellent. Thank you, Jose. The cat is in front of the box. Perfect. Now let's see. Let's continue with uh, Alejandro. Alejandro, please. Number one, Alejandro. Make the description. The cat is the cat is under the box. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. The cat is under the box. Lourdes Hernandez. Number two, please. Between the box. The boxes, boxes in this case, it's plural. The boxes. Okay, the boxes. boxes. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you very much. Let's see. Israel, number four. Make a description of the number four, Israel. Um, the, the cup is inside. Inside the is the box. Perfect. Thank you, Israel. Thank you very much. Excellent. Uh, now let's see Ibis, number seven. The cat is behind of the box. Perfect. Very good. The cat is behind the box. Excellent. Now let's continue with um, Jennifer Galvez. Jennifer, number one, Jennifer. Make the description, Jennifer. The cat under the box. No, we need the bird to be. The cat is? Is under the box. Fair. Sorry. Very good. The cat is under the box. So we need the bird to be. Thank you. Now let's continue with uh, 
Catium of the Rosa, number eight. Great, right, Catium. The cat is in front of the box. The cat is in front of the box. Perfect. Very good. Thank you, Kathy. Now let's see Kenya. Kenya Rivas, number five. The bird is above the box. Very good. The bird is above the box. Very good. Thank you, Kenya. Now, Kayla. Number four, please. The cat is inside the box. Excellent. The cat is inside the box. Okay, now let's continue with, um, let me see, Santiago. Number two, please. The bear is between the boxing. The bird is between the boxes. Perfect. The boxes. Okay. The boxes. Box. Box is similar. Boxes. It's plural. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Tamara. Tamara, number eight. The last one. Make the description, please. The cat is in front of the box. Okay. The cat is in front of the box. Very good. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, Kayla Patricia, can you hear me? Kayla? Okay, but yep. it's okay. okay, you can hear me. Kayla Lopez. No sé si será la... Kayla Lopez. Y Kayla eh, es que ah. tengo conectado el celular. Ah, okay, yeah. Okay, Por excellent. lo del micrófono. Excellent, very good. Good idea. Good idea. Yo pensé que era otro, pero sí, es usted mismo. Okay, thank you, Kayla. Now, everybody, this is the way we use the prepositions. This is the way we use the prepositions. En esta manera, como utilizamos las preposiciones. Esta es la manera como utilizamos las preposiciones. Now, let me continue here. Okay, everybody. In this case, you have to give me the answer. So we have a cat, and we have computer, and we have TVs. Pay attention, please. I am going to give you the number and you make the description one more time. Okay, let's start with uh, Lourdes. Number six, where is the cat? Number six, look at the picture. Huh? What do you think? Um, no, it is all close to. Uh, now let's computer. make. Yeah, let's make a parenthesis here, everybody. Cuando está así pegadito, cuando está pegado a otro objeto, ya sea a la izquierda o a la derecha, entonces va a ser next to. Y dos palabritas. Next, next to. to. Okay. okay. En el caso de la, de la última, sí. Ahí sería close to. Ahí está cerca de. Porque ahí ya no, no está pegado, okay. sino que está set close to. Ok, so, number six, Lourdes. It is next to on the computer, the computer. Excellent. The cat is next to the computer. Perfect. Now, the uh, thank you, Lourdes. Uh, Alejandro, number two. Look at the picture. Where is the cat? Number two. The cat is under the computer. The cat is under the computer. Very good. Very good, Alejandro. Thank you for your participation. Now, Israel, number six. Um, the cat is... Close to computer. No, that's number seven. Number six. The computer. Number six. What is the preposition name? Next to. Next to. Next to. Okay. The cat is next to the computer. Next to okay. the computer. Perfect. That's right. Now it is. Number one. 
Where is the cap? Number one. Ibis, can you hear me? The cat, yes, yes. The cat is on the computer. On the computer. Can you see? Está sobre. Está por encima, pero lo está tocando. It's on the computer. Perfect. Thank you, Ibis. Now let's continue with uh, Katia Monterrosa. Number seven. Katia. The cat is close to computer. Close to the computer. Very good. Computer. Now, Jennifer, Jennifer Galvez. Jennifer, number uh, five. It, it is on. No, number five. ¿Cómo decíamos detrás de? Behind. It Behind. is. The cat is. Behind. Is behind the computer. Excellent. Very good. The cat is behind the computer. Very good. Okay, Katia, one more, please. Katia, number two. Katia Monterrosa, number two. The cat is under the computer. Under the computer, excellent, very good. Uh, let's see, Kenya, number three. Mm, it is in com the computer. Okay, it is in no, number three, yes, sir, please. Mira donde se ha metido el capítulo. Dentro. Uh -huh. ah. Dentro de. Inside. 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 Yeah, made the description. It is please. inside the computer. Excellent. Very good. That's right. Okay. The cat is inside the computer. Okay. Mire, ahí se ha metido. Ahí está dentro. Okay. Dentro. Inside the computer. Let's see. Hey, Kayla, number seven. It is near the computer. That's right. Okay. The cat is near the computer or close to the computer. You have two options here. Now, Jose Sol, number two. Make the description, Jose, number two. Hello, Jose, can you hear me? Jose Sol? Okay, the cat under ah. the cat is under the computer. Excellent. Very good. The cat is under the computer. Very good. Now let's see the uh, Santiago. Number four. The cat is between the computer and the television. Excellent, very good. So in this case, everybody, you see the cat is in the middle, but there are two objects there. There are two objects. So the cat is between the computer and the television. Or you can say the cat is between the television and the computer. Thank you, Ms. Santiago. And Tamara, number five, please. One more, number five. The cat is in close to the computer. Number five, let me see, uh, no, it's not in front. Como decíamos detrás de? Can anybody help me, please? I think, can I say you? Behind. Behind, that's right. Okay, the cat is behind the computer. Okay, everybody, so this is the way we use the preposition. That's the way we use the preposition. We describe uh, the location, 
the location of places, the location of animals, the locations of things, the locations of people, etc. Okay, so this is the way we work with it. Okay, now let's see, let's continue with a, with a different part here. Okay, everybody, as you can see, we use the prepositions. We use the prepositions when we describe the location. Now, let's pay attention to the location of places. For example, I ask you, where is the police station? Where is the police station? And then you tell me, okay, the police station is between the bank and the store. Está en medio de, when entre el banco y la tienda. Okay. And we have other alternative. There is another alternative. The police station is in front of the drugstore. Drugstore. Okay. Drugstore, remember it's farmacia. No hay que que así tienda de droga. No. Drugstore is farmacia. Pharmacy or drugs, where you have the synonyms there. Okay, now let's pay attention to the, the post office. Where is the post office? So the post office is next to the drugstore. Drug next to the drugstore. Perfect. Very good. Okay, now I ask you the next question Where is the library? Where is the library? The library is in front of the post office, office and, school. and the school. Okay, that's right. Library is in front of the post office and the school. Okay, now let's move to the hospital. Observe, please. What is the hospital? Uh, the hospital is in front of the restaurant theater. It's and theater. the movie theater. And the movie theater. Either. Okay, so that's the idea, everybody. We use the prepositions okay, to describe the locations of places. Para ubicar las ubicaciones de lugares. Okay. Now, let's see. And, uh, okay, but before you give the location, you need to identify the street or the avenue. Antes de dar a conocer la ubicación, Vamos a identificar la calle o la avenida. Pay attention to the library, for example. Uh -huh. What is the street in the library, everybody? In the first, first street. First street, okay. So in this case, I need to say the library is on first street. The Okay, remember, on first street, I need the verb to be. The library is on first street. Luego vengo con la ubicación, in the location, in front of the post office and the school. Okay, pay attention to the, the bank, for example. Where is the bank? Ah, the bank is on Main Street. The Main Street. Next to the police station. Ese extra, ese es la ubicación. Primero la calle, luego la ubicación. Okay, don't forget it. Please. What is the hospital? The hospital is on Second Street. In front of the restaurant and the movie theater. It's a complete and specific description. Es una descripción completa y específica. Okay? Now, everybody. Let's pay attention to this. Okay, I ask you questions now. All right, yo le hago preguntas a ustedes. Okay, let's start with, uh, let me see, uh, Tamara. Tamara, yes. where, where is the school? Where is the school? The school is on Central Avenue. Um, the 
in front of the train station. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Tamara. Now let's continue with Santiago. Santiago, where is the hospital? The hospital is on Second Street in front of the movie movie theater. Movie theater. Movie theater. 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 Movie theater. theater and the restaurant. And the restaurant. Perfect. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Santiago. Now let's continue with Jose. Jose Sol. Where yes. is the train station? Um, train station is on the Central Avenue in front of the school the restaurant. Excellent. Excellent. Very good job. Okay, the train station is on Central Avenue in front of the school and the restaurant. Very good. Now let's continue with Kayla. Kayla, where is the police station? The police station is on Main Street between a bank and store. Between the bank and the store. Very good. Observe everybody. The police station is on Main Street. Okay. And then the location in front of the bank. Uh, sorry between the bank and the store. And remember, in this case, you can use the other alternative. You can use a different alternative. Uh, the police station is on Main Street in front of the drugstore. This is the other possibility that we have. Okay? Now, let's continue. Let's continue with uh, Kenya. Kenya, where is the church? Um, it's on Second Street in front of the hospital. Excellent, very good. Okay, so the church is on Second Street in front of the hospital. Very good. Okay, let's see. And uh, Katia, Katia, where is the drugstore? The drugstore is on Main Street in front of the police station. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. So everybody, in this case, you have two alternatives. Where is the drugstore? The drugstore is on Main Street in front of the police station. This is one alternative. The other alternative is the drugstore. Between. Excellent. Yes. The drugstore is on Main Street, between the post office, office and the movie post theater. Office and, movie theater. and the movie theater, very good. Okay, now let's continue with uh, Jennifer. Jennifer Galvez, where is the store, Jennifer? The store is on Main Street um, in front of the movie theater. Excellent, in front of the movie theater. Very good. So in this case, remember we have two alternatives. The store is on Main Street in front of the movie theater. This is one alternative. The other alternative, the store is it. on Main Street next to the police station. Next Very good. Place. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Now it is, where is the bank? The bank on Main Street in front of the post office. Okay, repeat, please. The bank is on in front of the office. Very good. Okay, the bank is on Main Street. In the bank of is on Main Street. Okay, it's on Main Street. In front Main of, Street. In front of the post office. Perfect. Very good. In front of the post office. Okay, now let's continue with uh, Israel. Where is the hospital? The hospital 
is on second tree in in front of church. In front of the church. Very good. Okay, thank you, Israel. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Lourdes Hernandez. Where is the uh, the post office? The post office on Fir Street in front of Bank and Police Station. Okay, that's right. Okay, thank you, Lourdes. Now, Alejandro, where is the train station? The train station is on Central Avenue in front of the school. In front of the school, very good. It's on Central Avenue in front of the school. So everybody, as you can see, this is the way we use the prepositions. This is the way we use the prepositions, right? We describe a, we describe the location. In this case, the location of places, the locations of places. Now, we have a different exercise in this moment. Observe, please. We have a different exercise here. So you have to look at the picture and you need to identify the different objects that we have here. Observe oh, everyone. Let me show you here the picture. Take a look, please. Number one, for example, the clock is. Uh huh. That is a preposition there, everybody. In front um, of the table. Oh. Yes. The wall, the wall. What is the on the wall. On the wall. Okay, excellent. Ahí como está tocando, está tocando la pared, entonces va a ser on. The clock is on the wall. Okay, ahí sería la preposición on. The clock is on the wall. Now, observe the number two. The number two is a, is a specific object, right? So the object is the ball. The ball is. Uh -huh. Can anybody on the Excellent. Under the table. Under the table. Very good. So the ball is under the table. That's the idea. So this is the way we're going to work with this exercise. I will give you the number and then you make the description. Okay, for example, let's see Israel. Number six, please. Um, the lamb, lamb is on the table. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Israel. And okay. Jose, number seven. Mm, the floor inside the floor, the base. The base. Very good. That's right. So pay attention, everybody. Look at the picture. The flowers are inside the base. Las flores están dentro, dentro de la vasija. De o de florero, de vasija o florero. That's right. Okay, or you can say only in. The flowers are in the base. This is the other alternative. Okay, now let's see uh, Katia. Number three. The cat is next to the armchair. Excellent. Or, or Very close good. To. Okay, the cat is next to the armchair. Mira, ahí está tocando. Recuerda cuando se quedan fijos así, cuando están a la izquierda o a la derecha, dice, y está rozando. Entonces ahí es next to. Next to the armchair. Si está un poquito alejado, entonces ahí sería close to. Or the no. other option is near. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let's see a uh, one more. Lourdes, number two. The pole is under the table. That's right. The 
ball is under the table. Okay, let's see Evis, number six. The lamb is on the table. Very good. Thank you, Evis. Now, Jennifer Gandes, number eight. The table is between the chair and the orange chair. That's right. Okay. The table is between the chair and the armchair. Very good. Let's see, Kenya, number five. Um, the carpet is um, close to. Okay, that's right. The carpet is, uh, but in that case, the carpet is the alfombra. Luego um, tenemos ahí el piso, floor. It's uh, on, on the floor. Very good. The carpet is on the floor. Okay, thank you. Now, Kayla, number one. The clock is on the wall. The clock is on the wall. Very good. Uh, let's see, Jose. Jose Sol, number one more, please. Number three. The cat is uh, next to the armchair. That's right. The cat is next to the armchair. Very good. The cat is next to the armchair. Now let's continue with Santiago. Santiago, number eight. The last one. Uh, the table is between the chair and the armchair. That's right. The table is between the chair and the armchair. Very good. Now, the last one, Tamara, number four, please. The table is on the close the armchair. Okay, the table is repeat. Close to. Close yeah. to. That's right. In that case is close to. The table is close to the armchair. Mire, está cerca, pero no está tocando, no está rozando. Cuando está ahí a la par, entonces es next to. But in this case, the table is close to the armchair. Mire, no está rozando, no está tocando, sino que cerca. Close to. Okay, everybody. So, and uh, let's continue. Now, let me give you an important announcement, please. Vamos a darles a conocer un anuncio importante. Okay, let's switch to Spanish. Okay, everybody, listen, please. This is a message from the administration. Este es un mensaje de la administración. Es para hacer el papeleo para, para la inscripción, ¿no? El nivel, en este caso, ya sería el 4, el level 4. Este día hemos iniciado el envío de las notificaciones para que los participantes presenten su documentación para solicitar la inscripción del siguiente módulo. So, in this case, is level 4. Okay. Y la fecha límite es el 10 de febrero. ¿okay? Esa es la fecha límite para entregar el papeleo. ¿okay? And the classes, everybody, you have to continue with the level four in, eh, we continue on August, I mean, February 22. So in that case, en este caso, creo que estaremos comenzando siguiendo con la, el siguiente módulo. El 22, 22 de febrero, fecha tentativa. Ahí depende de que ustedes entreguen la documentación. Así es que tome nota, fecha límite para entregar documentación: 10, 10 de febrero. Y la, el siguiente módulo: 22, 22 de febrero. Ok. So, let's continue now, everybody, with an interaction. Ahora vamos a hacer una interacción. Usted le hace preguntas a sus compañeros. Okay, everybody, pay attention, please. Let me show you here the, the 
picture. Okay, everybody. Now it's time to ask questions to your partners. What was the last question to your companion? Where is the train station? Where is the hospital? Where is the post office? Where is the library, etc. Okay, Alejandro, a question for Lourdes Hernandez, please. Where is this, sir? The store is on Main Street. Very good. In front of Movie Deer. That's right. Remember, everybody, you need to include the street or the avenue first. Now, Lourdes, a question for Alejandro. Alejandro, where is drugstore? The drugstore is on Main Street in front of the police station. That's right. The drugstore is on Main Street in front of the police station. Okay, thank you, Alejandro, and thank you, Lourdes. Thank you for your participation. Now, let's have two more participants, please. Let's see, Israel, two questions for it. Um, where is library? The library is on First Street in front of post and school. In front of the post office of the school, very good. Now, okay. it is a question for Israel. Israel, uh, where is the train station? The train station is on Central Avenue in front school. In front of the school. Okay, that's right. Thank you, Israel, and thank you, Liz. Thank you for your participation. Now, let's continue with uh, Jennifer. Jennifer, two quest uh, one question for Katia, please. Okay, Katia, where is the restaurant? The restaurant is in, on Central Avenue in front in front of the train, train station. In front of the or... train station. Okay, very good. Now, a question for her, please. Switch. Jennifer, where is the movie theater? The movie theater is on Main Street and next to the drugstore and in front the a store. In front of the store. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Katia. Thank you for your participation. Now let's continue with, uh, let's see, Kenya. Kenya, a question for Kenya, please. Mm, Kayla, where is the school? The school is on Central Avenue in front of train station. Okay, very good. Now, okay, a question for Kenya, please. Kenya, uh, where is drugstore? The drugstore is on Main Street in front of the police station. That's right, thank you. Thank you very much, Kayla. Thank you, Kenya. Thank you for your participation. Now, let's continue with uh, two boys now. Okay, Jose, a question for Santiago. Hey, Santiago, what is um, the hospital? The hospital is on Second Street in front of the movie theater. And the restaurant. And the restaurant. Very good. Okay, now Santiago, question for Jose. Jose, where is the bank? 
and the bank is across um, First Street and it's Main first Street. Street. Main Street. Okay, uh, a parenthesis here, everybody. Okay, uh, as, as Jose said, así como nos dijo Jose, ahí cuando hay una esquina, ahí vamos a decir on the corner of, para identificar calle, las dos calles en este caso. Okay, the bank, or in this case, the post office, the post office is on the corner of Main Street and First Street. Está en la esquina de la primera calle y la calle principal. It's on the corner of. En la esquina de. On the corner of. And then the location, right? Uh, the post office is uh, on the corner of First Street, the Main Street, in front of the library, for example. Okay? So, one more question. Let's see. Uh, Jose, a question for Tamara, please. Tamara. Yeah. What is a store? The store is on Main Street in front of the movie theater. In front of the movie theater, that's right. Okay. Now, Tamara, a question for Jose. Where is the hospital? Or hospital. <laughs> hospital. Hospital. Where is the hospital? The hospital in on Second Street, in front of the restaurant. That's right. The hospital is on Second Street, in front of the restaurant and the movie theater. You want to be more specific? Okay, everybody. Now. Let's see the, we have the last interaction. Okay, you have to answer the following question. Let's answer the following question. Do you remember the picture about the clock, the cat, the table, the lamp, the archer? Take a look, please. Okay, so this is the last activity, everybody. Okay, check it, please. For example, let's see, Alejandro, where is the ball? Huh? Alejandro, can you hear me? Where is the ball? Well, I think that Alejandro has problems with his connection probably. Okay, so Lourdes, where is the ball? The ball is under the table. That's right. Thank you. Okay, Israel, where is the lamp? The, the lamp is on the table. The lamp is on the table. Or we can say the lamp is between the book and the base. This is the other alternative. Okay. Thank you. Now let's okay. continue with, uh, uh, let's see, Iris, where is the clock? Where is the, clock. the book? Clock, clock. Uh, and the clock, the clock is on the work. That's right, okay, on the work. Remember everybody, clock, it says reloj de pared. Is the puño is watch. Don't forget the difference. Okay, Jennifer. Jennifer, where is the where is the cat? The cat is the next to the armchair. That's right. The cat is next to the armchair. Very good. Now, Katya, where are the flowers? The flower are inside of the base that's right thank you okay. the flowers are inside the base very good okay let's see Kenya where is the table where 
the table is close to chair. It's close to the chair, okay? The table is close to the chair, very good. Uh, let's see, uh, Kayla, where is the chair? The chair is next to the table. It's next to the table, that's right, it's possible. The chair is next to the table. Okay, and uh, let's see. And Jose, where is the cat? Jose, Jose, sorry, where is the cat? The cat is um, next to the chair. Next to the armchair. chair. Next to the armchair. Perfect. Okay, Santiago, what about the ball? Where is the ball? The ball is under the table. That's right. Okay, and Tamara, where are the pillows? Repeat, please. Where are the pillows? Pillows son almohadas. Uh, the pillows is no, the pillows on the, are, the pillows the are, pillows are is on the armchair. That's right. The pillows, this is plural. The pillows are on the armchair. Perfect. Very good. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for your participation tonight. Okay, and uh, remember, we continue with the classes on next Monday. Monday at 9 p.m. Don't forget, okay? Thank you for your participation and thank you for your attention and have a good weekend. Good night and good see night. you next Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.